Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain effects of lag compensator and effects of lead compensator. In this video lecture series, I have already explained lead compensator and lag compensator with separate videos. In this video, I will explain what will happen as if we add lag compensator with system and as if we add lead compensator with system. So here if you observe, we have one standard second order system to which we are applying unit step input and without compensator, you can observe the response. Here in this response, we are having two sections. One is transient response and second is steady state response. See earlier portion of this response that is transient response and after some time output is getting settled where we have steady state response. As if we add lag compensator with the system, then you will be observing output is happening somewhat like this, right? So if you carefully observe this output response with lag compensator, then here clearly we have higher rise time from 0 to 100 percentage. You can observe with lag compensator, rise time is increasing right and if you observe one more thing then here we have maximum peak overshoot that maximum peak overshoot that is decreasing because of lag compensator so if you add lag compensator with the system then there will be higher rise time and there will be lower maximum peak overshoot right so that is what one can observe based on this response so as if you add lag compensator with the system then there will be increased rise time and increased settling time. You can observe here settling time that is also increasing because of lag compensator. So one can say here we will be having slower transient response due to lag compensator and one should know lag compensator is acting like a low pass filter that even I have explained in separate video in this video lecture series. So if you add lag compensator with the system then we will be having increased rise time and settling time and you will be observing there will be decrease in bandwidth and maximum peak overshoot you can observe here we have maximum peak overshoot with lag compensator so that is decreasing compared to without compensator right and as i have told you with lag compensator response will be similar to low pass filter because of which there will be decrease in bandwidth right if you talk about lag compensator then with lag compensator there will be improved steady state response here you will be observing we will be having improved steady state response with lag compensator improved steady state response means there will be lower offset with lag compensator right one more thing that you need to understand see it will eliminate high frequency noise why it will eliminate high frequency noise the reason is lag compensator acts like a low pass filter so if you add lag compensator with the system then it will eliminate high frequency noise right now i will explain effects of lead compensator so here without compensator you can observe how response is appearing but if you add lead compensator then response will be somewhat like this and one should know lead compensator that is acting like a high pass filter that even i have covered in this video lecture series you just go through it if you add lead compensator then you can observe one thing see this rise time that is decreasing over here right without compensator rise time is this much and with lead compensator rise time is decreasing even you will be observing settling time that is also decreasing because of lead compensator if you observe one more thing see with lead compensator we have higher maximum peak overshoot right so with lead compensator there will be reduced rise time and settling time what it means it means here we have faster response so as if we need faster response at that time we used to add lead compensator along with the system where we will be having 
lower rise time means there will be faster switching operation with given system right here you will be observing there will be increase in bandwidth and maximum peak overshoot you can observe with lead compensator maximum peak overshoot is increasing and there will be increase in bandwidth why there will be increase in bandwidth the reason is with lead compensator we will be having response which is similar to high pass filter so here after addition of lead compensator there will be increase in bandwidth right here one more thing that you need to understand see because of lead compensator we will be having lower gain crossover frequency and as if we have lower gain crossover frequency then there will be increase in gain margin and phase margin what it means it means there will be improved stability with the system so if you add lead compensator then there will be lower gain crossover frequency because of which there will be increase in gain margin and phase margin that is resulting into improved stability right and as this lead compensator is acting like a high pass filter we will be having higher bandwidth with lead compensator right and here one issue will arise like as it is acting like a high pass filter because of lead compensator high frequency noise may get enter in the system right and here you will be observing there is no effect with steady state error right or one can say steady state response that will stay as it is so these are the basics that you need to understand like with lag compensator we have response which is similar to low pass filter response with lead compensator we have response that is similar to high pass filter response so but obviously lead compensator that will increase bandwidth and lag compensator that will decrease bandwidth right but if we increase the bandwidth then high frequency noise that may get entered inside the system due to lead compensator while lag compensator will eliminate high frequency noise right and one should know with lead compensator we have faster transient response characteristics while with lag compensator we have slower transient response characteristics so based on the requirement we used to add lead and lag compensators i hope now you are having comparative idea about how to utilize lead compensator and lag compensator with control systems till if you have any query just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video